Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This video, I'm going to show you how to actually change the battery of your Oral-B toothbrush. And at least this is the way that I'm going to use it. And uh, the symptoms is that when you put it onto the charging bay, it blinks for once only. And this is the indication that the battery is weak. Now first, you need to get some hot water. 60 to 70 degrees hot water. Soak it for five minutes. And then I use a very thick plastic bag and actually a cloth to close the base and then we use a wrench to actually remove the cap but if i were to use the tower there you can't see what happened so i'm going to remove the tower and try to pry it open now here you go this is how to do it but unfortunately it leaves some stretch mark there the correct way is supposed to be front and back okay so we level front and back there's actually a spring in here and this is actually the uh, charging coil and uh, this is actually a collar here to fasten this unit in place if I were to use something sharp here I, I worry that it will actually leave some scratch mark here too so I'm not going to use this method probably I can use a plier to actually remove it it's actually hard plastic ring so in, but instead um, I'm going to press against a wood surface and uh, I hope I won't break anything. All right. Okay, almost there. There you go. Wow. I think this should be the way. At least this is the way that I'm going to do it. Uh, you may choose to do it this way or you use the other way like you have seen from the other YouTube video. Okay, so um, first thing first, I'm going to remove this uh, turn on and off bracket here. I'm going to use a 2mm screwdriver. There you go. Remove this metal notch here. This is how it looks like. A cross-sectional view this is how it looks like. So the main idea is to remove the clip. Then there are one, two, three, four soldering point. And uh, this model comes with pressure sensor. So we have five and six here, five and six. So later when you desolder, you don't melt this plastic, right? So it's called plastic. And number seven is here. This is actually the negative terminal for the battery. Okay, I'm gonna show you once my setup. So how do I desolder them? So first, you have some tin heated up to roughly two, 325 degrees Celsius. And then you place it onto one of these points for roughly eight seconds. And then get ready with your desoldering pump and remove the tin, right? Once that softened, molten, right? In a molten state, there you go. You need to desolder for at least three to four times in order to really break loose the parts. Then I use a metal, oh, I use a plastic uh, remover, okay? To remove all the clips or notch, okay? So this is actually a pressure sensor. You can see the wires there, so make sure you don't break those copper wire. And then a metal notch here, I'm going to flatten it so that I can easily break loose the uh, battery compartment, okay, from the main body. And then, uh, yeah, I need to flatten it. And then uh, make sure you have desoldered all eight points. See, this is not desoldered properly, okay? So I need to desolder it so that I can easily slide out the battery compartment. And then this is an old battery. I've been using it for roughly five years already. So it's about time to get a new battery. So uh, oh, this clip here is quite tight. So I think this is not the correct way. So I found that I need to remove the notch here, the front. Remove the two clip and then in the middle and then towards the coil area. Be careful because there are some very thin wire there. I'm going to zoom in there and see. Okay, I'll remove, I'll dis I'll remove the battery from the motherboard and this is the battery. I bought the same battery off-centered terminal. You may actually upgrade to what by using the rechargeable battery, AA battery, isn't it? You've seen from another video, but I didn't do that. Let me next round. Assembling, if you know how to disassemble, you should be able to assemble, right? You should be able to solder it back in place. Uh, I've cleaned the housing chases, dried it, and then I push the main unit back into place. Okay, all the way in. Okay, done. Then try to pull it. And then the spring, okay? Don't lose the spring. That's why I have a yellow container so that every part will be remain here. And then the cowl, I try to clean it. This is the best I can do. Or 
if you know how to clean it more efficiently you leave your comment down there let me know how do you clean it i didn't use any vinegar i just use hot water that's all and then the correct way is supposed to rock it around right front and back right push it backwards right this way right and then remember i've also i'm not sure in this video i removed the plastic ring earlier and then i put, put it back into place and test it out oh my goodness at first i thought <laughs> it's not working no and then uh, I realized maybe the base is charging base is broken. So I get a new charging bay. And there you go. It works. At least for me. And uh, yeah, I think it works, right? Test it out. And then charge again. So it's actually the battery and the charging base, right? And I hope my video serves as a reference for you. It works for you. And uh appreciate a thumbs up. And until then, see you in my next video. Bye bye.